Good evening, I'm Mike Brooks. I'm Carol Morrison. Here's some of the latest news from Two Works for You. The high winds fueled a wildfire forcing a rural community to evacuate as the flames headed toward Woodward and Ellis counties. Woodward County Emergency Manager said that firefighters and local sheriff's deputies were going door to door in Fargo telling people to get out. The director says that there are reports of at least two homes and multiple outbuildings damaged in the fire. A corrections officer found an inmate dead at the Oklahoma State Penitentiary. The Department of Corrections says Albert Johnson was unresponsive in his cell yesterday. The 52 year old was serving a death sentence for a first degree murder conviction. The medical examiner will determine how he died. New details on the future of the Bob Dylan archives in Tulsa. The Philbrook Museum tells us they're going to start clearing out the art from their downtown location at the end of December to make room for the archives. In 2016, the George Kaiser Family Foundation and the University of Tulsa acquired the 6,000 item archive. It includes recordings, manuscripts, pictures and more. The Philbrook says the archive will open to the public in July. People all over Tulsa following one dog's story, Jughead spent weeks wandering the streets of North Tulsa with a jug stuck on his head. The Oklahoma Alliance for Animals was able to catch him over the weekend. OAA isn't sure how long he was unable to eat. Now they're working to put weight on him and get him socialized before anyone can adopt him. Later this week, they say they will do heartworm checks. Wind gusts across the area beginning to subside. We saw wind gusts up to 50 to 60 across the metro region. Tomorrow, though, conditions will improve in the 50s on your Wednesday. 40s with rain all day Thanksgiving Day. Chance for a few storms on Friday. And then weekend, warm, then cold. All right, thank you, Mike. For more news, go to our website or mobile app. Our Two Works View morning team will help you start your day at 4.30 a.m.